Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode here of uh, my AR-500 armor experience. And so this episode I'm going to do just initial review of the Testudo Lite. Okay, I did another video uh, review, initial review on the uh, Testudo Gen 2, the full version. Um, this one, uh, I'm the reason I got this one was their size. It was uh, compatible with uh, an 11 by 14 plate. And uh, this had a like a little bit lighter weight. It doesn't have like the mesh, as you can see here. Let me open this up. It did come with the cummerbund. The problem is uh, I wish they had the buckles. I wish the buckles were available because that would have made it even lighter if it just if you can just run it with the buckles instead of uh excuse me i got a i got a broken hand so i'm kind of a little fragile with everything so it would have been just a little bit easier if if uh if you could just have the buckles but uh there might be a way um there is velcro here and uh, if I could just show it here as well. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it or how I can utilize it, but I'm sure it'll come useful. Um, but for the most part, there's no... It, and you have to kind of use it with the cummerbund or else it'll just flop, you know. Uh, I did get this for soft body armor, hence the Testudo Light, you know. Uh, so that's what my plans were for this. So uh, I do have the soft body armor in here. And on top of that, I what I did was I took the, my original idea was, well, my idea was I got the six by eight side plates. Okay. And you can see these are actually uh, uh, six by eight right here because they extend uh, out. And these is I, I got the soft armor on this. So this has the trauma pad. I, I think I could just pull one out and just show you. So you see here, it has the trauma pad, trauma pad, and then the soft plate. And you can tell the trauma pad is just really thin. The trauma plate is a little bit stiffer and thicker. And this is this this goes. This is actually inside. You pull it. You pull this Velcro out if you get the six by eight plates, and then or soft or plates or soft armor, and you fold it over like that, and that's how it that's how it looks. Okay. And so um, this one, I just wanted to run really light, so it was lighter. It didn't have so many Velcro and other features. It doesn't have the admin pouch, which is okay. It does have this kangaroo pouch here. At least I call it kangaroo pouch. Um, and uh, what I did was uh, I did order steel side plates, all right, built up 6x8, uh, level 3 plus. And uh, I tried it on the sides, and they're, it, they're heavy, okay? Once you add, like, steel plates front and back, the front and back, I got 14 by 11 And then you add uh, the side plates. Man, that thing was heavy, and the cummerbund was kind of like, you know, kind of flopping. I could I could have put it on a little bit tighter, but you know, you really you don't want that to flop too much. With the soft armor on the side plates, it's it's uh it's manageable. It's manageable. You know, they hold up pretty good. And so, um, but what I did was, uh, and I was thinking about this anyway, how I could be a little bit more modular. Or try to make it modular with this whole, um, you know, AR500 system, the plate carry system that that they have. And so what I've done is, uh, ah, you probably can't hear it, but uh, right here, right about here, and it, it actually goes down to here. So from here to here, okay, is the side plates normally they would go here but i've i got the adaptive um insert pouch in which i can either have it vertically or horizontally 
and uh, I decided to um, put it in the front and back on onto this plate carrier with the soft body armor. So it, it's something's here to protect, uh, at least in the front, my heart, in the back, my my vertebrae, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so it's just something a little bit extra on top of soft body armor um, just to have. And plus, I do plan on using this if I wanted to do some light weight training with the body armor. Uh, there is a steel plate in here. It's technically a side plate. Um, I got it flat. I didn't get it curved because I wanted to turn it sideways as well as vertical. And so, um, you know... It, it just works out with the uh, soft armor. You can easily, you, you can see that it's, you can bend it, see, without, so even though this is flat, and, and that works for me, that works for me. So that was my um, plan to do it this way. The only thing I wish that it, it did come with was, you know, although I, I think I, I did know it didn't come with the buckle, but I wish it did come with the buckle because that way I could just uh, maybe drop the, the I had the option of dropping the cummerbund if I wanted to. But uh, I'm sure there's other ways I can work around it. You know, there's probably some other ways I can work around it. It shouldn't be an issue. I could probably use the part of the cummerbund here to strap a buckle in through here and then I would have a, I would essentially have a buckle for the most part. So um, some of the things that I really like about this was, of course, the cost. The cost of this is not very expensive. You know, um, the quality of the material is really good. I, I have uh, other soft body armor. Um, you've probably seen it when I ride my electric bicycle. Uh, I recently had a accident with my electric bicycle. You can see here I broke my hand. Um, I flipped over the bicycle, um, and um, when I flipped over the bicycle, uh, I was wearing my soft body armor, which is another 500, 500 Kodora or some kind of Kodora, high grade Kodora, uh, which is probably the same as this. That body armor does not have a scratch on it, even though I fell head first. I didn't land on my head, but I fell you know, head first going this way, and I landed on my body. And uh, the, that that body, that soft body armor, protected my ribs because I, I'm pretty sure I would have broken some ribs. Um, I would have broken more bones other than my hand uh, without that body armor. And but that that thing doesn't have a scratch. I, I I looked at it; it didn't have a scratch. So if it's made up from the same material as this, I know this will last. And this this will uh, definitely <laughs> definitely protect you against the fall. That's for sure. Uh, maybe even maybe even some bullets. So uh, so there's not too much material uh, on this, and, and the features are very same to the to Studo. It's just that you're not going to get the the mesh, okay? You do get Velcro in here, and you get no buckles. You get the side plates, no admin pouch, and that's about it. And oh yeah, um, these are padded, okay? These are padded. But they don't have the 3D mesh. But then again, um, the reason why I got this was I'm not going to be, ideally, I'm not going to be putting steel plates in here. Okay. So this this was a for in my mind a totally different system. As the name, you know, Testudo Light, I wanted to make this, I wanted to make this uh, very light, and that was the goal. I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna run it slick. I may put something on it, or I, I may not. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to wear this overtly. Uh, I'm going to probably get a little Nike patch, put it up here, um, and it's possible you can you can uh, you can wear this as a training vest, as a weighted vest. That's very popular. Um, I'm also going to wear like a um, high visibility vest over this. Uh, so I could run and jog and maybe do some exercise or even ride my bike and I could probably wear this. Um, it wouldn't hurt to wear this because I, I know wearing body armor uh, does protect your upper body. Okay, I've, I've fallen off my bike many times and other than maybe a sprained thumb and a 
broken hand, uh, my ribs are intact. Now, let me talk about the bad things, okay? So there, there are some issues, I think, with uh, the company AR500. I think they make great products. Um, some of the issues that you're probably going to find is um, the long lead times, okay? Now, if you're not in a hurry and you're looking for a good price, a good bargain price for the money, if you're looking for your the bank for your money, uh, I think AR500 does offer that. Uh, again, you just have to wait for a long lead time. Um, so that's that's the only bad issue. Uh, the other issue, if this does concern you, which it, it doesn't concern me uh, all that much, is they're not NIJ certified. Okay, I have other soft body armor that are NIJ certified. They also cost a lot a lot more too. Uh, I think I, I pay like uh, three to four hundred dollars for my soft body armor, the both the covert and the. Um, the high visibility soft body armor so it, it can cost a lot more to get that certification uh, they are NIJ compliant in other words they've tested it to the standards of NIJ National Institute of Justice but uh, uh, you know but if, if they say it does what it does and hopefully it does they've been in business for seven years then it shouldn't be a problem okay it shouldn't be a problem uh, the other thing is, um, other if you go steel plate, you don't have to worry about getting knife attacked, right? But if you go to soft body armor, they don't offer any, uh, what, what am I calling it, uh, slash protection? Uh, what is it? It's, it's a mesh. It's, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I'll put the name of it somewhere right here. Uh, but it's basically, uh, you know, uh, mesh of wire or mesh of metal, you know, that protects the uh, blade from going through. Gosh, I forgot what it's called. Mm. Anyways, they don't offer any of that in their body armor, uh, but that's all right. If you if you go with the AR500 brand, you most likely will go with a steel plate, and so steel will stop a knife attack. So not not an not an issue. Uh, other than that, I I personally don't have anything bad things to say. Um, again, it's the lead time that may bother you. So if if you want something right now, um, and it and you want it to be a steel plate, uh, you you're gonna be disappointed. If you can wait, it's worth the wait because the steel plate is a twenty years. It'll last longer. Take multiple hits. Uh, get the build-up coating. If you get the build-up coating, uh, you'll 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 do really good. Um, that's what's going to stop the, uh, the the spatter, the spalding. Uh, it should anyway, at least for a couple of hits. Uh, most body armor doesn't last more than a few hits. Okay, it really doesn't. It doesn't last more than a few hits, and then you have to get another one. And most body armor. Uh, don't last more than or warranted or warranted uh, more than five years. So um, getting this for 20 years, if you cost amortize that, it's really cheap. It's it's very affordable actually. Anyways, this is the Testudo Light. Uh, there's really not much to say. It's very it's it's the same as the Testudo Gen 2. The only uh, the only difference is it doesn't come with the buckle, okay? It doesn't come with the buckle. It doesn't come with the Velcro on the webbing. Uh, no, no admin pouch, okay? You do get the kangaroo pouch, and no 3D mesh, no 3D, 3D mesh on the inside and on the shoulder pads. It is padded here, um, but that's that's the difference. Um, and, and again, I got it for a different reason because I'm using this mainly as a soft body armor carrier with a small steel up here in the middle to protect my heart. That's that's the only part. So um, I, what I can do is I can take this out and I can put it into the side plates. And when I go full, when I go full retard on the uh, on the Testudo Gen 2, 
going full uh, metal, the steel side plates with the steel front and back. I mean, it, but it's it's super heavy, super heavy. Anyways, um, I'll try to also throw in some B-roll here. Uh, well, I probably already have been rolling some B-roll. Uh, what it's like to shoulder this with the rifle. With the soft body armor, it is easier, even though I got a 14 by 11, it is easier to shoulder a rifle. And the, where the, uh, the shoulder um, pads are, they're more closer to your neck. You have room for for the shoulder, and so it, it, it's you should be able to shoulder a rifle. And if you have a sling, it's even easier. It's much more easier. And again, I'll, I'll throw in some B-roll so you can all see that. Putting it on and off, it's pretty easy too. It's not that hard, especially when it's a little bit lighter. When it's heavier, it's more difficult. I, I do have to admit that. Anyways, uh, I'll, I'm going to conclude this episode. Um, Please like, share, comment. Let me know what your experience is with AR-500. Uh, we are in a global pandemic right now, and that's, I'm glad I have it. In the B-roll, you probably see me with uh, a mask and my buff on and my gloves. And uh, would it be too far, you know, fetch to think that you might, you might be doing that <laughs> while wearing a body armor? Probably, maybe not, maybe not, you know. Who knows? The zombie apocalypse is upon us all. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, share, leave a comment what your experience is, what kind of body armor do you have, what do you think. Until next time, everyone, bye-bye.